hand. Hi, I'm Ray Williams. The Observer's style editor giving it to Kingsley and Romay, although no names mentioned. The organizers ridiculed for a quote, mortifyingly inadequate display at Caribbean Fashion Week. It gets worse. Me love you everything. Me love you everything. You give me raise everything. Me love you everything. Your smile is everything. And you pull up a stand to the brim. You me love you everything. It was gloves off as Novia MacDonald White took CFW apart in a Sunday editorial. The 17th staging pandas harming the brand of Jamaica with cheap looking, ill fitting clothes. CFW says Novia came apart at the seams. It's time to send this piece to a tailor and demand a better fit, was the damning conclusion. No response yet from Pulse. CFW coordinator Romay Gordon said Wednesday she hadn't heard anything about the unflattering editorial. ER asked Novia why she saw red at CFW. I was just absolutely upset, I think, at the end of 17 years um, that this was it, this was it. I just thought, surely this couldn't be it. Our models are all over the world are doing very, 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 very well. The, the fact that this country can attract and continues to attract and attract this year in, in excess of 10 international lifestyle editors to this country, it means that they're coming to see something. And surely we should have shown them something. And it's not just about, OK, I've seen shoddy clothes before. Of course I have, but if you say to me this is the best, of Caribbean Fashion Week. I expect to see the best, meaning that we have to, if needs be, we have to edit. If needs be, we have to say, no thank you. Thank you, but no thank you. It's going to be said your comments were personal, that you never pan Style Week like that, um, that you have it in for Kingsley. Um, let me just say, first of all, that I missed Style Week this year because I had my beloved Crystal Chung's wedding to attend. Had I gone to Style Week and seen the same thing, I would have panned Style Week. I, of course, King's going to say that it's personal. He's going to say that I'm this, he's going to, which, he, which he has said in the past, I really don't care. Your crew on location can attest to the fact that the show started late, that we were using, you know, masking tape on the, on, on the clothes and on the, on, the, on the model's bodies, that the, for five, six minutes, the runway was empty. For heaven's sakes, you've got a long runway. You don't need one, 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 one. I mean, send the models out, send them out so that the audience is not bored. And there was even reference to people being robbed on the way back to their cars. Correct. And you stand by it all. Correct. People lost phones, people were robbed. That is correct. I stand by it. And you'll be going to future CFW events, future Pulse events to give your take on what happened. I will be going to all events to give my take on what happens because we've got to do better. McDonald White holstered her guns when it came to the collections of mailing out of Trinidad and Tobago and a blast from the modeling past Loy Samuels. Let's take a look. All about layering. If you know my work, I love designing white shirts, which was very evident tonight. So it was all about layering the shirts with different textures of trousers and different shapes of trousers, but also the apron has come. The apron is playing a big part. If you notice, a lot of the girls had on aprons, and that was just something new that I was trying. Um, and the palette, my palette is always black, white, and neutral, and I think that was also very evident tonight. It's supposed to be a very easy, layered look that you could subtract or add to, so you can wear it without the apron or add the apron, you know, put the belt or no belt or, or even like bustiers over the shirts. So it was about taking the shirt, which is like the, uh, really my signature piece, and showing it in many different ways. It's 
a very zen collection, very simple and very transitional, so she can wear it at home or out and about. And the silhouettes are such that it can be worn in the evening. If she wants it in a satin instead of in a linen, it can work in that way. So I wanted something transitional and something that will stand the test of time. I believe in classic pieces. I don't think we need too many things. If you find one thing that works for you, just stick to it and just change the fabrication, you know? So all the, all the pieces I feel could last seven days for the, uh, for the week, and she just changes the same thing over and over again. line it's very hippie it's very bo bohemian um, you know I left school in the in the in the early 70s I went to design school in the 70s this was a very very passionate time in my life where I'm exploring the fashion which was introduced to me as the 70s so the bohemian rhapsody was appropriate music with Queen being an icon um, in, in Britain where I grew up and and learned the trade um, and obviously I have a great business partner, which is my mother, that has spent, Yvonne Hales, that has spent 50 years in the business or more. And she's also had her own factory for 35 years and she's worked with all the best designers. So it's my, been my biggest fan and my biggest support too. Go green, go green. CFW closing Saturday with Afrobeat singer Fuse ODG, who got folks on their feet after showing his line of casual wear. Can't you just turn over your stick to music fuse? Hey, make some noise for the beautiful lady right now.